let's take a look at another family. Okay, hi. So I'm Jen and this is Bryce. Hello. And we're here to talk about our two kids, Brycey, who's six, no! and Rylan, who's two. Dad! The Bullards had their hands full. <laughs> running a 24-hour business from home. Businesswoman now. And Jen was constantly answering the phone. Well, they're plumbing. <laughs> so it doesn't stop ringing. Because of this, the children were lacking the attention they needed. So, Jen, you get to eat tonight? I do get to eat tonight. <laughs> Just a little later. OK, here we go. Well, they're plumbing. The Bullards needed to get their priorities straight. Where you see red, it means that you need to have the phone off. It's because they're crucial to your family. Once we had established the schedule with the phones, the next big issue was to get Ryland sleeping in his crib. Come here. Look, Bracey, hold on a second, please. Ryland just does not want to go to bed at night. Come on. Jen and Bryce, we're going to use the sleep separation technique with Rylan to get him off to sleep, OK? You keep calm. That is good. Rylan, it's time for night. And you sit down. Mom. So he can see the side of your face, Mom. but you're not giving him eye contact. I honestly could not have done that without Joe. Once the phones were turned off, the kids became their priority and Jen and Bryce found the balance that they desperately needed. It's been such a great experience for my whole family. Let's see how they're coming along. Hi, Joe. Thanks for checking in on us. The schedule that Joe gave us has been working really well. We, we've been sticking to it. Probably my favorite part of the schedule is the begin bedtime routine. The sleep separation technique has probably made the hugest impact in my household. Good for you. We all get so much more sleep now, and Rylan just goes to bed beautifully. The schedule is important to our family because it gives us the time with our kids and we know that we have that time blocked out for our children only. The phones don't get answered, business is not done, that is our children's time and that's very important and I think it's made a huge difference in my kids. I think Bryce has gotten used to um, the phones as well because <laughs> now instead of turning the phones off we have them forwarded to his. Yeah, I just have all the calls forwarded to my cell mm -hmm. phone now. We still have the naughty mat, as you can see. Um, I know you gave us two, but we went down to one. I just found that it was easier just to have one visual for the kids for time out. Um, it's been working awesome, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. With Bricey and the naughty mat, it usually just takes a warning. I really don't even recall the last time he actually had to go. <gasps> Rylan's doing a lot better. As you can see, he's not running around the kitchen anymore. So we're really happy about his table manners now. Go! <laughs> Her techniques don't just change you as a parent, they really change you as a person. Okay, throw it back. I love Super Nanny's techniques. I can't imagine life without them now. It really worked, and we just want to say thank you. I'd like to say thank you too, Joe. We really appreciate everything you've done. We You're welcome. We love you, we miss you. Hi, Joe. I have a question for you. Um, Rylan does not want to brush his teeth and I've been trying to put him on the naughty mat and he does go, uh, but after the two minutes, he still doesn't want to brush his teeth. So at this point, I'm lost and I don't know what to do and I would love it if you could help us with that. Teeth brushing, it's got to be done. It's a life skill. So make sure that you make it fun for the boys, OK? Don't put Rylan on the naughty mat. Instead, encourage him to do it. Make it fun. So play with it. Move it around a little bit within his bedtime routine and good luck. 